Shalom Aleichem everybody, hope all is well. Sorry for the long delay. We have a lot of things to speak about. We see now that the world is in a very tense situation. There's a lot going on. Whether it's the situation in Israel, in Lebanon, Gaza, the situation with Iran, the, poli the, the U.S. politics and the elections coming up, we see that the world is in a state of intensity and that we need a miracle from God Almighty. We need God Almighty's blessing in everything in this sensitive time. So to start us off, I want to say that we have to feel within our hearts a state of emergency, a state of urgency, knowing that at any moment now Mashiach is coming, the Messiah will arrive, and then our work, work will be done, and we won't be able to do any more in our service of God in the same way. Meaning, of course, you know, there'll still be service of God when the Messiah comes, but by no, in no way, shape, or form will it be the same as now. Meaning the pleasure that God gets is much greater now. When we serve Hashem in this time of darkness, uh, it's a much greater pleasure to God Almighty than, than if we were to serve Him in when Mashiach comes, when it's so obvious and clear to all that God is the King of the world and we'll feel that potent energy within us. Meaning, now we really have free will to serve God. There's temptations, there's darkness, sometimes it's hard, it's not clear, there's, there's, um, there's hiddenness. But uh, there's obstruction, meaning the godly light is not as clear as it will be in the times of Mashiach. When Mashiach comes, it's going to be so obvious to do what God wants, and it's going to be so obvious to never sin that nobody's going to sin anyway. So it's not going to be the same as now in this obstruction, in this darkness. You still serve God. Ah, that's the greatest of all. So we have to look at, around, at the news, and, and it shouldn't be just, meaning not just watch the news, but when you hear the news and you see what's going on, it shouldn't be just in and of itself, oh, this and that. You have to realize that God is controlling the world. We have to have emunah and bitachon, that God Almighty, faith and trust, that God Almighty is running not just the world, but He runs every atom of reality. Nothing can harm you without the permission of God Almighty. We have to focus in our minds on this reality that God controls everything. And when I trust in Him that He will redeem me, He surely will redeem me. Because when you trust fully in God, that nothing scares you besides God Almighty, you become unified with Him and nothing could harm you. So especially now with what's going on in Israel. But guys, we have to increase in our Torah study. We have to increase in our prayer. When you need something, your first thought shouldn't be, oh, and doubt yourself, why don't I have this? Oy, oy vey, this is going to happen. All these negative things. The opposite, a person has to trust in God and pray to God to redeem him. And even if you've already prayed, you have to focus on your prayer and ask yourself, did I pray? I may have prayed, but did I pray with all my might to the point where my soul is pouring out of me? A person has to force themselves to pray in this way with 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 a, with, a, with an energy, with a, with a sense of, of really... Of, of with a forcefulness a prayer is like a war we have to be praying to God with all our hearts and all of our mind it has to be in deep concentration and that's how we we really exercise prayer because prayer isn't just uh, prayer isn't just um, isn't just where we ask from God it's where we actually connect and and we unify with God it's related to you know it's related to an intimate moment with God Almighty so it's not just about asking yes we ask for blessings from God in prayer but it's much more we we actually unify with God we we express our our intimate love for God during prayer and that's it's much more than just asking now in regards to what's going on guys it's very clear that we are in the final moments of exile all the great rabbis are, are saying this, and it's been being, it's been said for years now. But at this point, we are at a climax, at a peak of this of this, you know, this this reality that we're about to experience, Mashiach. Because what's what's happened in the past year, the wars that we've experienced, and and the miracles that God has, has performed for us, whether it's the you know, all the the eliminations of all these terrorist leaders, all the success of our air force, the operations that Israel has undergone, the the obsession with the world with Israel, all these things are a clear cut indication that that God Almighty is preparing the world for 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 the Messiah's arrival. And 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 so, with that reality, we have to really. We have to think about it and focus on this and not let it just be some nice idea, but become a reality like, hey, 
I'm living in this world. I'm living in the generation that will experience the redemption. All thousands of years of our forefathers awaited this moment. And here we are, us, we are the fortunate ones that have been given this task to be alive in the times of Mashiach and to know that we're not just here to watch it happen, we're here to make it happen. We're a part of this redemption. We are causing it to come. When will the Mashiach come? It says, we say this every day in prayer, and it says in the book of, of, of in the Tanakh, in the Bible, in the book of Prophets, uh, in the book of uh, Nevi'im, uh, uh, it says that when will the Redeemer come to, to Jacob, come to the Jewish people, uh, to, to, to the Holy Land, Tzion, when Jacob returns, when the Jewish people return to God, automatically the Mashiach comes. It's not, he, it, he doesn't decide when to come. The Mashiach is ready to come at every single moment. He's here and ready to be revealed, to reveal himself. But it's on us to bring him by, by doing that extra good deed, by controlling our anger and, and trying to vanish anger from our, from our midst, by praying to God, by giving charity, by, by respecting our parents, by respecting our spouses, through all these dif different details that we speak of, that is how we bring the redemption. And especially now that all these prophecies are unfolding before eyes and Iran is threatening to attack us again and clearly we're on the eve of something much greater than we've seen. Now is the time, guys, to channel all of, to go all in, to go all in, to give our life savings and put it all in on this investment. And not, not our physical life savings, but our spiritual life savings. And what is that? Going all in for God Almighty. Giving our entire being to Hashem by fully trusting in Him and fully going in His way by following His ways. How do we go in His ways? The ways of the Torah. The ways, that's Hashem's ways. That's His path. The path of truth. And MS Allah Torah, the true truth is the Torah. Nothing is as true. No, nothing we know of in this world. No physical guidelines. No instruction manual. Nothing is as true as the Holy Torah. The Torah is the Word of God. That is what should, our, our focus should be on. And everything else will come into place. And we will experience the true reality, the coming of Mashiach, what we await at every single moment where God Almighty's light will shine forth in the world. We will experience God like we experience talking to a friend, like we experience physical objects in front of me. Just like you see me here now talking to you on the screen, and you experience your body, you experience the room around you. So too, when Mashiach comes, God Almighty will be experienced even more than that. May it happen today. God bless you all. Please like, comment, share, subscribe, and help support the Torah channel below. May we see the redemption immediately.